Hello children, have you read the lesson for brothers made a lion? Who made a lion, right? Very interesting, na? even if we have powers also, foolishly if we behave, how we lose our life sometimes. That we can learn from this lesson, right Nana? So now, for this lesson, remaining grammar topics we can complete now. So what is the first topic we have? Yes, vocabulary. Vocabulary part ma. So almost we have done the meanings. But once again recap this vocabulary part. What do we have? First word ma. Passed away. First word we have. Passed away. So what is the meaning of passed away? Very good. Died. So if anyone die, then we can say he passed away. One more word also I told you. What is that? Yes. He kicked the bucket. Kick the bucket also meaning of, meaning is not of kicking the bucket generally. But kick the bucket means the person died. Idiom we call it that is. Okay, next one, vain. Second word ma, vain. W-A-N-E, vain. Vain means decrease. Vain, vain means decrease. And next one, acquired. A-C-Q-U-I-R-E-D. Acquired means obtained acquired means obtained or gained okay next one ferocious ferocious f e r o c i o u s ferocious ferocious means dangerous ferocious means dangerous and next one penniless 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 means penny means coins coins means no coins penniless that means no coins that means poor no money and pathetic, pathetic means sad, pathetic means sad and mutual, mutual is shared, mutual understanding, cooperate with each other, so and sharing with others that and muttered, muttered means spoken in a soft voice and even we talk to ourselves very slowly, that we can call it muttered, spoken in a soft voice. Okay, ma. So, these are the important words we have in this lesson, vocabulary part. Okay, na. So, this is one and then we can do grammatical structure. See children, so the next one ma, in this lesson we have grammatical structure. Grammatical structure, with, verb with preposition or an adverb. What is that? Verb with... Preposition, verb with preposition or an adverb. So, after the verb, we get the preposition or adverb. Preposition or adverb, these we call it phrasal verbs now naturally. Preposition or adverb, if we get it, that we call it generally phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Suppose, see the examples here. Here they have given, that is, read the following sentences. What are those? Brahmin and his wife. Brahmin and his wife passed away. Passed away. So, here passed away means died. Passed away means died. So, here what do we have? Passed is the verb and away is the adverb. Passed is the verb and away is the adverb. Okay. So, how can we find... That is, uh, what is the verb and what is the adverb? What is the verb and what is the adverb? So, generally, after the verb, preposition means next to something should be there. Then it is called pre uh, preposition. After that preposition, that is after the verb, a word is there but nothing after it that we can call it adverb. Uh, adverb. Okay. If you have something after preposition, that is called preposition. Suppose take the example. Get inside the castle. Uh, get inside the castle. Here, that is, uh, or uh, yes, once again I will tell you. Ma, so, first whatever the phrasal verbs for that we can do. Okay. So, what is this? First one, verb with preposition or an adverb. Verb with preposition or an adverb. So, first, after the verb, if we have a preposition, sometimes a preposition we have, sometimes verb we have, adverb we have. 
how can we find it either preposition or adverb i'll tell you so first here some of the words we have especially verb uh, that is uh, prepositions we have adverbs we have what are the meanings of those words we can see okay nana so here what do we have first we have list of other words that can be made the made with the word pass and their meanings especially with the word pass so what are those words see this nana first one is pass out all words with the pass only ma pass out so what is the meaning of the pass out very good faint pass out means it's a faint and the next one second one pass through pass through t h r o u g h so what is the meaning of pass through or pass by also see pass through or pass by so what is the meaning of pass through or pass by yes go through pass by go through the textbook pass through the textbook okay go through and see the third one ma pass around what is that pass around pass around means what give something to a give something to give something to a group of people a group of people a group of people one after the other one after the other so here what is this actually this pass around is going on in your classes actually anything if you give any paper means yes one by one you take this copy like this one by one all of you copy this one from this notes sometimes we say na yes that is pass around for one student if i give yes pass to the next one one by one so pa give something to a group of people one after the another that we call it pass around okay nana and see the next one ma fourth one pass over pass over what's the meaning of pass over ignore so please ignore please pass over him please ignore him okay next one fifth one na pass on pass on pass on means give something to someone give something to someone give something to someone okay so i pass on these notes to you you pass around all the classmates understood this one yes that means i am giving something to you and that you should share you should pass one by one right that we can call it that pass around and next last one what do we have pass of as p a s s o f f as pass of as that means pose or pretend pose or pretend something if we pretend something that we can call it pass of as pass of as o f f na na pass of as okay so pass out pass out means faint pass out means faint pass through pass through means go through pass by or pass through both are same meaning go through and next one pass around pass around means give something to a group of people one after the another that we call it pass around pass over pass over means ignore it and next one is pass on pass on means give something to the someone okay one after the another if we give it that is pass around if we give something to the others means please pass on this please pass on this okay next one pass of as pass of as pose or pretend pose something or pretend it that we can call it pass of as okay then so by using this just to pass word uh, phrasal verbs they have given some sentences ma let's do the answers for those sentences okay do it 
Yes, see the sentence ma, what do we have? Fill in the blanks with appropriate words from the list given above. So, just now we have seen that na. So, from that list we should fill these sentences. So, what are those? In that, fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks with appropriate word. With appropriate with appropriate word forms word forms from the word forms from the list given above from the list given above okay ma so what are those sentences so see one by one all of you first sentence ma first sentence hari wears the shirt first one ma hari wears the shirt hari wears the shirt shirts which have been which have been Hari wears the shirts which have been dash on him sorry dash to him to him by his brother by his brother so here Hari wears the shirts which have been dash to him by his brothers that means his brother has given to him so we have given something to the others means what do we call it yes a pass on so then what can we write here answer yes rahari weighs the shards which have been pass on pass on to him by his brother pass on to him by his brother okay and got it like this you should write so see the second one more what do we have the teacher Second one ma, the teacher, the teacher dash Rahul and Rahul and gave the prize to Geeta, gave the prize to Geeta. Gave the prize to Geeta. So, here the teacher dash Rahul. The teacher ignored the Rahul and gave the prize to Geeta. So, ignore means what can we write here? Very good. Pass over. The teacher pass over Rahul and gave, pri gave the prize to Geeta. Geeta you can write either G-E-T-A or G-E-T-H. No problem. So, the teacher passed over Rahul and gave the prize to Geeta. And see the next one, my third one. Third one, the room is, the room is, sorry, the room was so stuffy, so stuffy that Sheila that Sheila dash that Sheila dash okay so here the room was so stuffy so completely clumsy messy it is okay so then completely messy it was so then the Sheila was passed out that is she was faint out so the Sheila Passed out. P A S S E D. Passed out. So faint. So she became irritated of that complete messy room. Okay, now. And see the next one, my fourth one. The lady. The lady dash the photographer. Photographer. Photograph 
the lady dash photograph among among the people among the people sitting in the lunch sitting in the lunch okay so here what can we write so here the lady dash the photograph among the people sitting in the lunch so the people all sat in the lunch so the lady has given one photograph then they are yes one by one they are passing and showing it so that's why she passed on to that but the lady passed around the photograph okay among the people na? so that's why the lady passed passed among passed around the photograph among the people so it's going on one by one they are showing a group of people if I give one, one to another means pass on. But here among the group of people it is circulating. So then we can call it passed around. Pass around. Right ma? And see the next one ma? Fifth one. Fifth one. The little boy. The little boy wore. The little boy wore a yellow dress. yellow dress to dash a banana at the a banana at the at the fancy dress competition at the fancy dress competition fancy dress competition in school so how he was he was uh, uh, that is uh, this person has word that is the little boy wore a yellow dress to pretend to show him to pose him to express him uh, like a banana at the fancy dress competition his dress how it looks that is it uh, to show like the uh, banana right so here to show or to pretend him like this to feel him like this means what can we call it pass off so to passed off as okay to passed off p a s s e d to passed off as a banana at the fancy dress competition in school okay by saying that he should looks like banana that's why he wore that one that we can call it passed off it passed off as okay then so write these five ma another five i'll tell you first continue this see the sixth one nana what do we have sixth one we dash we dash the town of the town of Madhura, the town of Madhura, Madhura means Madhuram. When we are, when we were going to, when we were going to Agra, Agra, to see the Taj Mahal to see the Taj Mahal so we are going in that way so that what can we write it so we moved on to that place means passed by so we should write we passed by the tour of we passed by the tour of that is a passed by means go through so first we went to the Madura and then we go to that places that's why we passed by the town of madura when we were going to uh, uh, agra to see the taj mahal okay nana and see the next one was seventh one many people many people dash the injured the injured man on the road 
injured man on the road without on the road on the road without trying to help him without trying to help him so what's going on so they are almost the many people dash the injured man on the road without trying to paper without trying to help him sorry without trying to help him so on the road that is beside that injured man is there but what's going on without trying to help him they are going that is they are ignoring so ignore something means what can we take it many people that is a pass over many people passed over that means they ignore so many people passed over the injured so many people ignored the injured man on the road without trying to help him right ma and see the next one eighth one the police ma police the police cart the police cart a thief a thief trying to a thief trying to dash as a lawyer as a lawyer so what is here ma a police the po uh, the police caught a thief trying to dash is a lawyer so a thief who is trying to pretend him as a lawyer who is pose him as a lawyer so that means what can we write yes pass off as a lawyer trying to pass off as a lawyer so who wants to work like a lawyer who wants to behave like a lawyer but actually he is a thief okay so that we can write it pass off next one my ninth one what do we have vivek vivek dash the salt dash the salt said sarala said sarala so what here what sarala said pass on the salt right yes generally you pass on that book pass on that pen like this we say na pass on the salt okay and see the next one last one in this ma what do we have sandeep sandeep dash as soon as he saw the as soon as he saw the bleeding deer bleeding deer as soon as he saw the bleeding deer okay so when generally any accidented people are who got too much of uh, uh, blood like this means some people giddiness they get it na faint they become faint so sandeep faint means what can we write it that we should write passed out so sandeep passed out as soon as he saw the bleeding deer passed out means giddiness so immediately fell down okay na no? so that we can write it faint na no? so sandhi passed out as soon as he, uh, he saw the bleeding deer okay na no? so these are the words to use phrasal verbs phrasal verbs verb with the preposition or adverb okay ma no? so all of you copy this one See the next one, Nana. We have discussed verb with preposition or adverb. So first of all, the difference between this, both we are getting, but uh, looks like this is a preposition, but we confuse whether it is a preposition or adverb. So in that conditions, adverb versus adverb versus preposition. Adverb versus preposition. so the same word but in that sentence whether it is a preposition or adverb how can we find it very simple logic very simple logic suppose see the example 
get inside the castle. C A S T L E N A N A. It's a castle. Castle, not castle or not castle. It's a castle. So get inside the castle. Get inside. Get inside. Here too they have given. Both are giving same meaning. Get inside the castle. Get inside. Both same meaning. But here after the inside, if we have something means this is hundred percent preposition. After pre, uh, pre, a word, if we have uh, something, some other words means hundred percent. It's a preposition. After the word, if we don't have anything, then it is adverb. Then it is adverb. Okay. So here, after the word, if we have some words, or especially object or some other words, if we have, that is called preposition. Nana. If we don't have anything after that, then we can say this word is adverb. So that word generally prepositions we fail it, but sometimes those are prepositions and sometimes those are adverbs. How can we find whether that is a preposition or adverb? So if it is a preposition, means after that word compulsory object or some other words must be there. But if it is adverb, means we don't get any other words after that. Any words after that, okay? So that is the easy thing to find it whether it is uh, uh, either adverb or preposition, either adverb or preposition, okay? Generally, all those are phrasal verbs. We say verb with the preposition like that. But whether it is the preposition or adverb means if we have some other words after the word, then it is called preposition. After the word, if we don't have anything, that is called adverb. Okay, Nana. So see here, what do we have next one? Take the correct option they gave it. So what is that, ma? So B option they have given. Take the correct option. Take the correct option. So here they have given five sentences, five words. So whether it is a correct correct option. So for that, whether it is the adverb or adjective. So that we should find it. So see the first sentence, Nana here. So what is that first one? Don't loiter. L O I T E R. Don't loiter about the. Don't loiter about the street about the street so here what do we have loiter about so loiter about this is the verb and this is the word either preposition or adverb what is this word either preposition or adverb so here what did they give option about is about is an adverb about is an adverb and B option about is about is a preposition about is a preposition so which is the correct one after the verb if we have a word and after this word preposition what we call it after that if we have something that is object that is called preposition if we don't have anything means that is adverb so here what do we have after the about the street is there object is there so that's why obviously answer is it is a preposition about is a preposition so take that one okay ma? and see the next one Nana. next one what do we have second one the children pass by the children the children passed by so they are moving on passed by so here in this by so what are the options by is an adverb or by is a preposition by is an adverb or by is a preposition what is that ma here after the by do we have any other words no then if we don't have any other words means it is adverb very good so take the first one a okay by is an adverb 
got it clearly so to look those are prepositions only but based on the sentence sometimes a preposition sometimes adverbs okay if we have something after that word that is called a preposition if we don't have anything after that word that is called adverb simple logic okay na and see the next one amma next one third one what do we have here his uncle arrived soon after his uncle arrived soon after his uncle arrived soon after here or after is the adverb so oh sorry after is the word so what is this after is an adverb and another option after is a preposition after is a preposition so what is the correct option here after is an adverb or after is a preposition yes yeah, simple logic after the after do we have anything no then it is very good adverb and see the last one nana he sat on a stool he sat on a stool yes easily you can find it on is an adverb or b option on is a preposition so what is the correct one ma here sat on a stool after on we have object something is there then it is a preposition so take this one on is a preposition in this got it very easy na to find it next onwards whenever you get phrasal verbs whether it is a preposition or adverb easily you should find it clear ma so all of you note it down see the next topic children what do we have ma after grammatical exercise we have conversational conversational skills we have conversational skills what do we have in the conversational skills ma yes you know there is a dialogues what is here there are many more stories of king vikramaditya and beta yes in this story king vikramaditya and beetle that is beetle only told the story to vikramaditya na suppose if vikramaditya said answer then uh, this beetle will disappear vanished so that is happened so find the bring story find and bring story books in the class and read them out out to the class yes so find in the library and get the books to the class and here he read out and discuss with the others so tell the story to the others okay so by next week will you get the books of vikramaditya very good so next week i'll give one more class on that day you should tell the story of vikramaditya okay na so let's do the next one yes see children so the last topic last topic in this lesson brahmin who made a lion that is a four brothers who made a lion four brothers who made a lion last topic ma what is that let's listen let's listen so what can you listen here yes see that so listen to the listen to the names name of the places listen to the name of the places name of the places and write the and write the correct number write the correct number near the picture correct number near the picture okay ma so this you should do what are the names here did they give what are the names ma so see that one first one temple second one mask third one hospital hospital 
फोर्थ वन एंजिन फोर्थ वन एंजिन फिफ्थ वन लेटर बॉक्स फिफ्थ वन लेटर बॉक्स सिक्स वन हाउस हाउस सेवेंथ वन पॉन पॉन एथ वन ट्री ट्री नाइन्थ वन फॉरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट एंड लास्ट टेंथ वन स्कूल सो वॉट आर दिस यस सी हियर यू हैव द पिक्चर्स हियर सो फॉर ईच पिक्चर दे गिव वन बॉक्स सो इन दट बॉक्स दीज वेर एवर दीज आर दंबर यू शुड कीप इन दट बॉक्स सो सपोज सी द फर्स्ट पिक्चर दिस फर्स्ट पिक्चर इज Yes, this is nothing but mask, right, ma? So see that pictures, all of you. So first picture, what can you see? That is mask. So mask means where do we have? Yes, here second one. So for that picture, keep the number two. So for the first picture box, for the first picture box, keep the number two. Okay, na? Like this remaining also. And after the mask, next one, what can you see? Yes, very good. Pond. So first mask, and the second one, what do we have? A second picture, pond. So in the second picture box, you give the seventh number, pond. Okay. And next one, what do we have? A yes, it's a big tree. Right. Tree, where do we have? Yes. So for the tree, give eighth number there. For the tree picture, give eighth number. And next picture, what do we have? Yes, beautiful house. Where do we have house here? Yes, six. So then, for the house, give sixth number. Sixth number you give in the house box. And the next one, what do we have? It's a plus symbol is there. Then we can remember it is. hospital hospital so then where do we have yes here so for the hospital give the number 3 for the hospital give the number 3 and next one what do we have yes so this like this and uh, orange uh, one means orange flag and all these means we can see easily it's a temple temple where do we have temple ma yes so next sixth picture you give the temple sixth picture you give the temple uh, that is sixth i mean sixth picture you give the number 1 you give the number 1 and next one here a small one we have what is this yes to keep the letters inside this is letter box so that one is letter box what is the number letter box 5 so keep that letter uh, box number 5 and the next one come to the last row here what do we have yes there you have name also school so where do we have school 10 so give the number 10 to that school picture next one this is chik chik railo that is it yes very good engine where do we have engine yes so give the number 4 give the number and the last one many trees we have more and more trees thick one means that is called forest forest so there yes give the number 9 give the number 9 so first one is a mask so give the two number there and next pond seven number and the next third picture tree eighth number and the next picture house sixth number and the next one hospital number 3 and the next one temple one we should give and next we have letter box five number we should give next we have school 10th number we should give next engine so we should give fourth number and last picture we have forest give nine number to it okay now so these are the pictures we have so this is textbook grammar next we can do the gra uh, workbook grammar okay ma first complete this and then we can start the work workbook grammar okay children so all of you read this